Our fourth contestant is Mary Anderson, an average person. An average person. School shootings, suicide bombs, poverty, hunger. There's a tremendous amount of pain out there. Adam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, four years ago, I was feeling the weight of all that suffering. I was desperate to find a way that I could make a difference. Inspiration came one day in the floral department at the grocery store. I found that for $4, I could buy a bouquet of flowers. I decided from then on, whoever came in line behind me at the checkout would get a beautiful bouquet of flowers. That day, in November 2006, an idea was born in me that changed my life. One of the most powerful experiences I had was one day I turned to give flowers to the lady in line behind me, and I told her, these are for you. When she realized what was happening, tears filled her eyes, and she said to me, you have no idea what you just did. She said that several times. As a matter of fact, those were the only words she said to me. As I walked away, I heard her say to the cashier, that lady has no idea what she just did. As I walked to the car, of course, I'm thinking, I have no idea <laughs> what I just did. <laughs> Acts of kindness create a ripple effect. One day I was giving flowers to someone and there was another lady standing nearby, watching. She was grinning from ear to ear. That lady came up to me in the parking lot, and she said, I just want you to know, what you did in there made my day. I was approached in another parking lot once by a woman who saw me giving flowers to someone in the store. She said, I know who you are. You gave flowers to a friend of mine here in September. She was having the worst day. And when you gave her those flowers, it transformed her day. She came and told our Bible study group about it, and we were so inspired. We bought a dozen mum plants and put them on random people's doorsteps. This lady was ecstatic to tell me her story. It was our story. I learned early on, random acts of kindness can be highly addicting. There have been times I've come home from the grocery store with adrenaline still coursing through my veins from these kinds of experiences, only to realize I've forgotten something. I don't mind because then I can go back to the store and give someone flowers again. And my kids were on to me. When they realized I was doing multiple flower drops in a single day, they hit me with an intervention. They actually started checking me at the door for signs of euphoria. When I give flowers to someone, it's always random. I don't know if that person is a Democrat or a Republican, if they're a Catholic or an atheist. And I don't care. Those labels create a sense of separation between us that does not really exist. Every person, every person deserves to be on the receiving end of an act of kindness. So many people that I give flowers to ask me why. When a lady asked me that question last week, I told her, you deserve these just because you walk the face of the earth. Who am I to think that anything that I might say or do could really make a difference? I relate to that little boy on the beach who's lofting one starfish at a time back into the sea as he declares, I made a difference to that one. 
I'm just an average person who has the audacity to believe I can make a difference. One smile, one hug, and one bouquet of flowers at a time. I would conservatively guess I've given more than 200 bouquets of flowers. The enormity of that blows my mind. I give flowers to people for the same reason that I joined Toastmasters. People need to be encouraged. They need to be reminded. They are far more wonderful and valuable than they have ever given themselves credit for. And they need to know they're not alone. The world is full of average people, like you and me. Imagine if more of us asked the question, how can I help? And then had the willingness to put hands and feet to the ideas that come. I encourage you to consider adopting a kindness practice of your own. See if it doesn't make you feel like a million bucks. And if you ever see me in the grocery store, I hope you will scoot in line behind me and give me the honor of reminding you of the magnificent presence that you are in the world. Madam Toastmaster.